Hello. We're still at the introduction of the course lecture one. Um, and what I'd like to do now is to tell you a little bit more in details what the content of what the really the philosophy of the course is and some of the content is gonna be. Um, <clears throat> so about this course. What is this course gonna be all about? This is um, a little bit different from other uh, robotic vision courses or uh, um, computer vision courses. What we really care about in this course is um, we care about bio-inspired models. We want to look at the brain, at our visual system, um, and we want to extract the algorithms that make it as good as it is. So first of all, why uh, our visual system? Well, if you look around us nowadays, and it's been like this for a while, um, the best really visual system that we can find, both synthetic or, or real or biological, is really our, our own. Our own is, is capable of incredible feats. Um, and one of the big problems about doing uh, vision research, you know, computer vision research or bio-inspired algorithm is that you think this thing is, is easy. You, you're doing it every day. Oh, I need to look for my keys or um, I need to find my, a pen uh, on my desk. Well, done, you know, it's, it's really that easy for us. But if you think about how are we doing this, what, what are the mechanism both in terms of neural network, brain activity, uh, sensors that allow us to do that, um, then you you, re you suddenly realize that the job is is quite um, is quite difficult, and it's even more difficult if you really try to do these things. And m most of you will will get their hands dirty in this course or other courses, and uh, um, you will really um, appreciate what the problems are. Um, so let's think about. Uh, the human visual system. So, first of all, human visual system is one of the visual system out there in nature. Um, there are, I mean, one can argue which one is the best, okay? Um, there are many different ones. It depends on the animal. Some animals have more acuity. Some animals can see better in the dark uh, and, and so forth. Um, um, so, I, I can't really say for sure. I'm not into developmental bi biology or a comparative biology, and so I don't really know for sure which one is the best one. But definitely, um, ours is one of the most evolved, and it makes sense together with other mammals to really study it. So, what are the components of our visual system? Um, well, that would take an entirely different course by itself and I'll try to give uh, some information about it. I really recommend all students or people that are interested in to read a book about vision. Um, there are several books that you, you can find uh, about the neuroscience and foundation of vision. Um, that will be very very important especially if you're a student that wants to work in this area for a while. And reading these things is really fundamentally not that complicated. If you don't really need to memorize it all, you can read it at your leisure. Um, but as you know, we have eyes that uh, take in information from the world in terms of light rays and uh, we have photoreceptors that convert it into some kind of electrical activity. Um, this part, the eye and the processing in the eye, we will, we will touch upon briefly um, in this course, but we won't go into much details. Just the processing of the retina is quite complex and not extremely well understood. Um, there are several people studying um, the retina, and I encourage you to look into that if you're interested. Um, that also part of some of our previous research, which is on uh, artificial sensors that are retina-like. After the retina, after, after the eye basically, signal propagates into neural networks in the primary visual cortex. And 
there are spread basically two areas um, of the visual cortex that we are very interested in. Um, There are basically two areas of the cortex um, that we're interested in. One of the dorsal area, also known as the wear area, um, and um, um, ventral area, ventral pathway of the visual system, which is the what area, the one that will recognize objects and interesting things in the environment. So we're mostly, in this class, we're mostly focusing on this and also a little bit on the both on the where and the what uh, visual pathways. Um, of course, some basic knowledge about how the visual system works is quite uh, important because it will constrain the model. And um, I highly recommend the people to really look into students, to really look into um, the foundation of uh, physiological systems, and in particular the visual system. I can recommend some books um, as a note to these lectures as well. Um, but okay, the main idea is really to look at how the brain processes this visual information and try to extract algorithms. What are these algorithms really? They can't be just any kind of algorithm. They have to be efficient and simple algorithms that um, are fairly plausible to operate in the brain. And um, that will allow us to also understand not only to replicate our system but to kind of understand it because only replicate trying to replicate it in Argo you have a better understanding of how things are um, and not just any algorithm but uh, the simplest form of the al algorithm in this course we really care about the outcome razor of the algorithms we really want to be able to really get the important concept about our visual system and uh, and replicate them. Another step of this course is uh, replicating this algorithm into hardware. Um, that's something that we're going to talk about maybe more later. Uh, it's more important later. Uh, there are major differences between the biological systems and you know the current hardware that we have, silicon chips. So one has to try to you know back propagate that into what kind of algorithm do we really want and uh, trying to exactly figure out what kind of a modeling do we really want in this course we are not really gango about modeling the brain perfectly there are other people other researchers around the world that try to model every single aspect from the retina on extremely perfectly but because we try to do this step, which is to extract algorithm and go into hardware, we have to somehow backpropagate. Sorry about the use of the term; that it's also similar to neural networks. But we want to uh, really understand what the limitations are on the current hardware, what the limitations are of biological hardware, and try to kind of merge them together into an algorithm that will um, do the best of both. <sighs> Let me make an example. You know, uh, biological neurons are, are fairly slow, you know, to, to compute certain things. They run at a few, few hertz. Um, instead, digital circuit can be extremely fast. So there's, there might be certain things that um, with artificial vision that can go a lot faster than with human vision. Um, on the other hand, um, human brains have, you know, from the latest counts, um, 100 billion neurons or so, one third of which might be dedicated to vision, so 30 billion neurons dedicated to vision. Um, and it's, um, it's quite difficult to be able to replicate all this number of neurons on, on modern microchip. It's actually possible right now with, um, by stacking multiple microchips because uh, uh, many of these have transistor counts that are close to a billion right now um, and um, so you can envision in a few years to really have that many neurons if possible but again what are you going to do with neurons if you don't know this algorithm that's really the purpose of this course is to try to figure these things out um, about this course also important concept is really try to we, we have to constrain a model here an algorithmic model 
and in order to do that we will use um, concepts that are um, you know from neuroscience biology and so forth uh, machine learning as well so really uh, this course can be quite difficult uh, to be frank one of the main reason why it could be difficult and it can also be you know for a beginner quite um, um, you can easily lose your path is because this course is at the intersection of multiple disciplines and also this is what really makes this course really shine make it really um, a special course much different from other courses that you might have went through is so we really in this course we combine concept of electrical engineering um, such as neuromorphic engineering trying to replicate biology in hardware synthetic vision computer architecture we try to combine we have to study if you want to de develop a hardware synthetic vision system we really have to know all of these things all of these elements from electrical engineer we also heavily combine it with computer science computer vision machine learning really just computer science and statistics <laughs> and we really try to understand neuroscience and vision um, by uh, constraining our models by looking at the latest finding in in these fields so so you have three fields here it's very difficult for a person to be an expert or not have enough knowledge of these three fields it take you know maybe five years for each so it's it's understandable that this this kind of a course would be would be quite difficult to to continue and to learn as you can imagine um, nevertheless these are the three main disciplines that are sort of constraining our model right now. So one last thing that I wanted to mention about this course that is, uh, is quite important is the, again, that this course is really about bio-inspired vision. It's the main really focus of this, really of this course, this bio-inspired vision. Um, there are many other similar disciplines that come into play in, play in here um, and are quite relevant to this course and that they it's very important that I make the distinction right now so that uh, students and everybody else is, is aware of this there has been a field for um, called computer vision which really uses uh, mathematical techniques to replicate the visual, visual, you know, visual abilities in computers. Usually, those may or may not be bio-inspired vision. So there has to be a distinction, and um, the distinction has to be the fact that our course is focuses more on bio-inspired vision system, so it's heavily really biased toward the use of neural network because neural network are the main uh, component of the brain in our visual system. You have to understand that this course is about vision, but as I will show you later, it's also trying to figure out how our brain works and how our visual intelligence arises. Uh, for that, we want to try to really understand how our brain works as well. So it's a, it's a path that has two directions. You know, we want to constrain our models by biological system. We want this biological system to be some kind, somehow explained, not by measurements, by um, the models that we will create. <coughs> so this course is uh, rather different from computer vision. Computer vision usually links quite heavily on applied mathematics, especially nowadays, it didn't used to be like this, but it's, it, now it's like this. Uh, in, in our course, we will use several concepts from applied mathematics, but we have to make a big distinction between our course in applied mathematics or our course in computer vision. The biggest dis distinction is that 
we um, we are not just happy by picking up one algorithm or whatever algorithm seems the best and using it. We really have to, and if I, uh, you allow me to go back, we really have to go from biology into an algorithm and into hardware. And only from this hardware we can go back and tailor the algorithm effectively. So for us, uh, the important concept really is not picking up or being in love with a specific algorithm, uh, but it's try to fit specific task into neural networks because that's what uh, the human brain really uses. So I hope that's uh, um, that's 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 uh, at least a little bit clear about different objectives between our course. Our course is really um, bio inspired, and we will use neural networks, and we will try to. Um, at the same time, understand the brain and replicate its ability. Um, we're not against computer vision or applied mathematics, and in fact, many of the, both of these two disciplines will come inside all this mesh of different disciplines that we're using to in this course, really. And that's what makes it a little bit complicated at times, is just to navigate through these things. Uh, the main concept is to try to be, if you want to take this course, try to be loyal to biology and say, you know, you want to use this algorithm, yes, that's that's good, but is this just a mathematical trick? Or is this what really may happen in the brain? And is this simple enough to give me uh, a simple circuit? Or is it overly complicated to satisfy the needs of a community? That's really what um, we care about in this course. <coughs> 